Now we have to complete our cover page. So your cover page should already have your name and surname, the name of your school, the subject name and the pat topic. Now we still need to insert the focus question, a meaningful abstract and the final completion date. So um, you're going to have to copy this uh, fo focus question over here. How can digital citizenship be promoted to instill the safe and responsible use of online activities for young people? And we're going to insert this on the cover page. So I think under my title, I'm going to go make, uh, and we're just going to put that in as a little subtitle. So I'll just use my arrows to click out of that and press and enter. And I'm going to make it a subtitle. Yeah, subtitle style that it's quite small and then I'll paste it as plain text okay that's the focus question now the abstract I'm going to do now let's just first do the date um the date in the same way over here I'm going to um, use my arrows to click out of the content control put in enter and then insert a control content control for the published date okay now over here you actually need to choose what date it is that you're going to hand in your um, final pet uh, phase phase three so let's say that's the end of the term so let's say the 20th of september or whatever so then that will be your published date okay all right so with writing your abstract i'm um, writing your abstract can be a bit of a challenge as well. Um, you need, it's about a paragraph that you're going to write and I've compiled some tips for you on how to write that. Um, I just want to point out to you that this counts cover page, meaningful abstract, extract included, it counts one mark, okay? Basically, one to two marks. If you don't have it, you'll lose one to two marks. So, um, can you please not spend half an hour on that? Just write it shortly, but I'm sure you'll manage. So, again, from WikiHow, they give some nice tips. So, in an abstract, you give an overview of what they're about to read. It's, it's practically a, a combination of the introduction and the conclusion. It's a single paragraph, and um, if I were you, I would write one sentence on each of these. What problem you investigated, okay? So you can actually go and copy this from your introduction. Um, what your aim was, this you can copy from your introduction as well. My purpose was to do this and this and this. What your results were. Now there you say what you basically found. Um, I don't know if you maybe included something like that in your conclusion. But you don't have to go on very long about that. You just basically say, um, you know, what was the major trend? Do people actually know about this problem or not? Are they aware? Is there somebody doing something about this or not? Um, and then a conclusion. Therefore, we need to do this and this. And this. So what, what will you need to do to solve this problem? Okay.